Hello, big statues lovers and Rio de Janeiro fans. Welcome to my channel. My name is Jana and this is Curves on the Road. Today, I'll take you to the Brazilian metropolis of Rio de Janeiro. Behind me, there is probably the most famous monument of the city and that's the Christ the Redeemer. We got here by minibus and there are all, every, everywhere there are elevators, so this is a very comfortable monument to visit, so I highly recommend this one. There are several ways how to get to the Christ the Redeemer. We chose the minivan, it cost 90 reais, and the stop was at the Copacabana beach. There's another stop in the center of Rio, and that's a bit cheaper because it's closer to the mountain. The first stop will be at the souvenir store because they want you to buy your own Christ the Redeemer and you'll be forced to take some pictures that they'll try to sell to you at the end. And after that you'll hop on the very same minibus you came in and you'll continue to the top. As I mentioned before, there are elevators and escalators, so no stairs if you really don't insist on making your life more difficult. And once you reach the statue, it's time for the typical pictures in typical poses. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. Pinnacle of Temptation. That's how the first settlers called this hill, but now it's known as Corcovado. You can get beautiful views of Rio de Janeiro and Sugarloaf Mountain from here. At the back of the statue, there is a small chapel where they organize weddings or baptisms. Christ the Redeemer is definitely not the only attraction on this hill. I promised you some local fauna. Here it is. Look at the cute monkeys. Aren't they adorable? To justify way too much footage of monkeys, here are a few tips. Tip number one. Don't feed the monkeys. Some people brought them bananas, which I feel is a-okay, but still there are chemicals on the skin and it might get the monkeys sick. The extreme was when people were just looking in their pockets and gave them whatever they had, which included some biscuits and Mentos candy. That really can hurt the monkeys and they might die, so please, I know they are cute and I know they are begging for food, but don't. Don't listen to her. I want my snack. Look at him. People warned us, be careful, the monkeys are smarter than you. I felt a little offended, but... Yeah, keep an eye on your belongings because the monkeys can snatch it and I don't think you'll enjoy chasing your phone around the rainforest. Tip number two from locals. If you want to avoid crowds, get to the Christ as early in the morning as possible. I didn't listen to this advice and there are quite a lot of people, but honestly, the space is so small that you can't really avoid having somebody else in your pictures. And finally, tip number three, if you can't see Christ from the city, don't go up the hill because it will be in the clouds and you won't get the views and maybe even not good view of the statue.
Today I take you to the Museum of Tomorrow, but today, well you might see it in a week, but definitely this is the Museum of Tomorrow. It has some exhibition with uh, science and technology. It takes about an hour and a half. We don't have time to go for it, but if you want to check it out, by all means, the building is amazing. The architecture is stunning. I love it. This reflection pool surrounds the building and it's used to filter water that is being pumped from the bay and released back in from the end of the pier. It gives the visitors the impression that the museum is floating. This bridge is 14 kilometers long and it's the longest bridge in Brazil. The museum is located in Guanabara Bay. You can definitely feel the touch of colonialism in the local architecture. Are you fans of books? Are you fans of libraries or are you fans of Harry Potter? In all these cases, you shouldn't miss the Herr Gabinetje. It is a stunning little place. You just, when you're walking the center of the city, you can just drop by. It's one room, it's free to enter and it's gorgeous. It really resembles a library that Harry Potter would have in the castle. Spectacular, definitely recommend. This place was elected the fourth most beautiful library in the world by the Time magazine. The whole name in English is the Royal Portuguese Cabinet of Reading. The cabinet has the largest collection of Portuguese literature outside Portugal. Beautiful, innocently looking church in the center of Rio de Janeiro and guess what? We have recorded a ghost. If you focus on the right side at about now you can see a veiled figure at the benches for the believers. Can you see it? Pretty scary, right? It might have been just a shadow on the lens, but we'll never know for sure. There are lots of magnificent buildings in the center of Rio. You definitely shouldn't miss Teatro Municipal here. Again, the same as in Sao Paulo, inspired by Palais Garnier in Paris. Arcos da Lapa, former 18th century viaduct, is now a little bit sketchy neighborhood. It didn't feel exactly safe there, so we took just a few pictures hidden by the police car.
Here is an example of modern Christian architecture, Metropolitan Cathedral. Statue of Princess Isabel. She was the monarch who signed the document abolishing slavery in Brazil. I don't think I could wish for a better background. We're sitting at the Copacabana, a little restaurant, and we are having coconut water. I love it here. The, the, the water is just amazing. It's the most refreshing thing you can get here. And it's the safest thing you can drink anywhere in the world because the packaging is sealed. So you don't have to be worried that anything had happened to it. It's getting dark already. We had a little rainfall today, so the sugar loaf is a little bit in the clouds, but hopefully tomorrow it will already be sunny again. So that's it. That's the whole video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, why don't you give me a redeeming thumb up and you can subscribe to my channel. I upload every Sunday. Thank you very much for watching. Have an amazing rest of your day and bye. And next time I'll take you here.